breaking news and this is coming out of both denver and cleveland because both teams have agreed to a trade and this trade features mr jerry judy and it's funny because with jerry judy um jerry judy is somebody who we've been hearing about in trade rumors for like the past two three years it seems like annually we hear oh the broncos are thinking about moving on from jerry judy oh jerry judy could be available in a trade oh the broncos are listening to calls about jerry judy but Nothing ever happened, well, until now. Because it seems like the Broncos, since they let Russell Wilson go, or they're going to let him go officially very, very soon, uh, and he could end up in the AFC North as well. Uh, but it seems like they are in a rebuild mode. Uh, Russell Wilson's going to be gone. Jerry Judy got traded. Uh, Justin Simmons, he got released. So it seems like Broncos are like, you know what? Let's hit the reset button. Maybe one of we want to stockpile draft picks. But let's see exactly what draft picks they got in this trade. So uh, Cleveland is sending a 2024. So this year, the 2024 fifth and sixth round pick to Denver for Jerry Judy. That's it. Former first round pick, and I would definitely say uh, Jerry Judy as a wide receiver thus far to this point in his career, uh, it has been probably underachieved quite a bit, especially being a first round pick. I'm sure his expectations for himself were a lot higher, um, and a lot of it had to do for, with a lot of different reasons, but now he gets a fresh start in Cleveland. Uh, and with Jerry, you got Jerry Judy, you got Amari Cooper, so it's, it's like a route running factory over there. Those are some guys who can really, really, really run uh, some really good routes. Now, will they be catching passes from Deshaun Watson? Because he expressed his how excited he was on Twitter about this. Or will they be catching passes from Joe Flacco? Because Joe Flacco said, hey, he's oh, Cleveland, that's where I want to go. I want to go back. And I figured, you know what, Joe Flacco, after he went on his magical run last year with the Cleveland Browns that ended in Houston, I thought, oh, yeah, Joe Flacco going to retire. He just going to finally call it quits. But Joe Flacco said, I want to keep playing. Um, but, of course, you got Deshaun Watson, and that's projected to be the Cleveland Browns starter. And would Joe Flacco want to go to back, go there to just chill and be a backup? Maybe, maybe. Because Flacco might be like, you know what, look, if Cleveland going to cut me a check, I got no problem chilling on the bench. And if I got to play, okay, cool, I'll play. But if I don't got to play, I, I could cut the check? Oh, yeah, no problem. So we'll see what happens with that. But Jerry Judy, um, this is going to be very, very interesting. Ah, I forgot they had Elijah Moore. See, that's why I appreciate these updates from these different football accounts because they will give you nice reminders of what you forgot. Uh, it said, updated Browns offense, Deshaun Watson, Nick Chubb. For now, I know there's been a lot of talk that he could possibly be a cap cut uh, like Joe Mixon with the Bengals could be um, because it's expected that Joe Mixon is going to get released. Uh, but Nick Chubb, we haven't heard anything about that yet. But um, up updated Browns offense is Deshaun Watson, Nick Chubb, running back Jerome Ford. He, he was nice too. He filled in for Nick Chubb really good. Uh, Amari Cooper, Jerry Judy, Elijah Moore. Another really, really good route runner. So, yeah, I forgot that they traded for him from the Jets last year from something like Dirt Cheap. Because, again, Jets were trying to get rid of him. He fell out of favor with them. Their relationship ended on a sour note. They traded him to the Browns. Boom, fresh start. New team, new city, new everything. Um, and then David Njoku. David Njoku, in my opinion, um, he is one of the more underrated tight ends in the league. When you hear about the top tight ends, you hear about, of course, Travis Kelsey. You hear about Mark Andrews. Uh, but you don't really hear about David Njoku as one of the top tight ends. And he's, he's nice. David Njoku is nice, and especially as a Ravens fan, having watched him for a very long time and make him make some annoying plays against our defense from time to time. The, he, yeah, he, he, he's nice, though, man. And I know Flacco, like, Flacco found an instant connection with him. Uh, but now the team is obviously going to go back to Mr. Uh, Deshaun Watson. So this is, yeah, this is one of the first trades right before the new league year starts come Monday. And oh, actually, it starts on Wednesday. But Monday, that's when we start hearing about, oh, this team agreed to a deal with this player. This team agreed to a deal with that player. That's when the new league uh, tampering starts, the new league year tampering starts. So we will have you covered with everything with that. And it's going to be a very, very fun season, a very, very fun off season. I mean, the off season is it started off a little bit slow, but over these past couple of days, it's been picking up a whole lot. So we'll keep you updated on everything. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, uh, turn your notifications on so you do not miss not one single video, and leave a like on the video too because it helps out the channel a ton. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And like Jerry Judy told the Broncos, I'm out.